Okay, uh, one thing I haven't done in any of these videos uh, while I'm waiting for night to fall, I wanted to do this real quick. Um, I haven't given any credit to or told a story of um, the groups that came out to my house that cleansed my house for me and also investigated my house for me. Uh, there was three. The first one, it took me about six weeks to get them to come out, to find them, to get them to schedule it. Um, after talking back and forth with them for over a month, and they, they finally made it out. It was West Tennessee Paranormal. Um, they did a really good job. Uh, uh, their investigative methods were a little different than the, the next two groups that I had come out. Um, they didn't want anybody in our house, so... Uh, we slept in our car all night, and they had a tent set up, a command center set up out back, and they had all their equipment set up in here, and they had one person from their staff go in and spend 15 minutes, and then they would come out, and another one would come in and spend 15 minutes, and they did that all pretty much all night long, and just gathered everything. Um, uh, they then went to the empty house next door. Um, they did a walkthrough of that uh, at 6.30 in the morning, it's about 12 hours after they got here, they gave us a final, uh, not really a final report, but they gave us kind of a rundown of everything. The final report took about another month to come out, uh, where they had to process all the EVPs and, you know, all the evidence that their equipment picked up. Um, they said they would not come back out here again, because out of the 1,200 investigations that um, the director had done, he was very threatened here. Um, they all were. Uh, when they were over in the empty house, they had visions of killing one another. Um, one of their members was an ex-SWAT team member. He was on the SWAT team for 20 years. He got physically ill and vomited, um, couldn't stay in the house. Um, they were all like that. They all got very physically ill um, had violent thoughts about each other and uh, were uh, very negatively influenced and impacted by it. So they they left. Um, they didn't come back. And they said they wouldn't come back. They suggested that we get a shaman. Um, <clears throat> while we were out there, they gave me this medal, which is a Catholic, been blessed by a priest from a Catholic church. Um, while we were outside in the command tent, I heard with my ears, and my wife heard, and we all heard that we're sitting outside, we heard musket fire. We also heard drumming, like uh, Civil War drumming, um, coming from the wood line. So that was pretty cool. Um, but uh, we also heard Indian, uh, Native American screaming, like war, war yells, and... Um, so that was pretty interesting, and, and we kind of got an idea that, you know, it might be Native American related, um, that the, the demon that I got in the window looking out in, at me through my living room window could have been maybe a skinwalker or, a, I don't know, maybe a Native American demon or a Native American negative spirit. Um, I'm not sure what that was, um, but I did get a good shot of it. Um, so then they left, and they didn't cleanse my house. Um, they said they couldn't. So I lived with all this, again, while I'm trying to find somebody else to come out. And it's just getting worse and worse and worse. I'm getting scratched. I woke up one night, and I couldn't breathe. My chest was hurting real bad. I thought I was having a heart attack. And I couldn't wake up. And I was dreaming, and there was a, a young kid, a young man with blonde hair, laying on a park bench laughing at me and I was asking him to help me because my chest was hurting so bad and I was having a hard time breathing he just laughed at me and so I I forced myself to wake up and there was a black figure standing next to my bed leaning over me and when I looked at it it took off out of my room um, that was the second time I got attacked um, I got scratched bitten and choked seven times um, so I started looking for another group and I found um, KNJ Paranormal. I also about the same time found CHP Paranormal. And I thought it might be a good idea to have them both in here at the same time, um, kind of pull their resources and 
Um, so I had K&J came over first by themselves. Uh, it was Corey Ray and his wife Jessica. <clears throat> they came over and did a walkthrough. They gathered all kinds of evidence. They got um, some great spirit box responses. Uh, the K2 meter was to the top quite a few times. Uh, his REM pod was going off. Um, uh, we were getting disembodied voices and EVPs. Um, so uh, they left and they came back with CHP, or CHP came over by themselves. Again, we got some really good necrophonic responses. We got some good spirit box. We got a lot of uh, K2 responses. Um, Heather, uh, Chad's wife, uh, who's a member of CHP, was um, uh, getting a lot of her own intuition um, because she's sensitive. And so then uh, K and J and CHP came back together and um, did another investigation. Again, we got a lot of responses from all the equipment. Um, uh, they then cleansed uh, the property, which included my house, the empty house next door, and um, ever since then everything's been quiet until recently. So once they were done with that, for the first time in like six months, I got to sleep in my dark bedroom. I had been sleeping with the lights on because I was terrified. There's a lot of stuff happening. I got over a hundred photos. I got probably a hundred EVPs. Um, I got a couple of videos. I mean, it, it, it's, it was just off the hook crazy. So then it was quiet. I slept in the dark, which I really love. I hate sleeping with the light on because I wake up during the night. But I was sleeping all the way through the night in the dark. And I wasn't being assaulted or or anything, I wasn't hearing anything, um, no footsteps, no knocking on the walls, no nothing. Well then, just recently it started happening again. I started hearing the footsteps, and I started hearing some knocking on the walls, and my sister-in-law had moved in with us. After, while the house was cleansed, she was here. She was dying of emphysema. Well, after the house was cleansed, about six weeks after the house was cleansed, she passed away in the house. So after she passed away, all kinds of stuff happened. I mean, everything started picking up again. Um, and now it's, you know, I'm hearing banging on the walls. I'm hearing scratching. I'm hearing, not me being scratched, scratching on the walls. I'm getting EVPs. I'm getting disembodied voices that I hear with my ears. My dogs are acting bizarre again like they used to when this first started. Um, which is a really good indication for me because I'm hard of hearing. So when my dogs start reacting, I watch them because they're telling me something. You know, they're warning me, hey, there's something going on. And, it's, and they're, they seem to always be looking into the living room. So that's where I'm concentrating most of my effort right now. But um, that was the kind of stuff that was going on before. And the, the banging on the walls was random anytime. And it would be like somebody punched the wall. And my dogs would just fly right off the ground. I mean, it would scare the hell out of them, scare the hell out of me. Um, that hasn't happened again yet. It's been, even though I'm getting a whole lot of stuff going on, it's pretty mild. So, uh, anyway, KH, uh, I'm sorry, CHP Paranormal, KNJ Paranormal, and West Tennessee Paranormal are the three groups that, um, that came out and, uh, and helped me and did a fantastic job. Uh, I was a little upset with West Tennessee Paranormal for not following through and at least attempting to cleanse the house, but that's okay. They know their job better than I do. So, um, KNJ Paranormal, CHP Paranormal are two excellent groups. CHP came all the way from Florida. There and back is like a 24-hour drive, and they came all the way out here to help me and are willing to come all the way back out to help me. And um, I'm trying really hard not to get them to have to do that. So. I mean, that's a long trip. I go to Florida for work a lot, and I know how long and just a boring, tedious trip it is. So, But anyway, I wanted to run, run, down, run down those groups and give them a shout-out. Um, if you need any help and you're in the South or you're in Florida, CHP is in Florida, K&J is in Alabama. Uh, they will travel. Um, 
just kind of talk with them ahead of time, let them know what's going on. Um, and I'm about to run out of space here, so thanks a lot.